Welcome to the Mozy Mobile tutorial. In this tutorial, we will take a look at the Mozy Mobile for Android app, which gives you immediate and continuous access to the files in your PC that you have backed up using your Mozy account. When you first install and open the app, you will see the user license agreement, the ULA. Once you accept the license agreement, you are prompted to sign in. Enter the email address and password for your Mozy account. Clicking the Forgot Your Password link will bring you to the Change Password web page. For the beta release, the account you use must be a .com account that is backing up to a US data center. Once you have signed in, you will be asked if you would like to enable a passcode. This passcode will need to be entered every time you open the app or if there has been no action within the app for five minutes. If you select No Thanks, you will be brought directly to the home page. However, if you select Yes, you will be prompted to enter a four-digit security code that will need to be entered every time you open the app. Once you confirm the passcode, you will be brought to the home page, where a list of your backup containers or drives are displayed. The main page displays the computers backed up with this account and you can browse through the files and folders or use the search option to find files. A downloaded file will automatically open in an appropriate viewer app on the phone and if the phone doesn't have one then it cannot open the file while if more than one viewer exists then you must select a viewer to use to open the file. All the functionality provided by the app will now be available so you can zoom, copy, paste. The hardware back button will bring you back to the Mozy app. If the user presses on a document, an action menu will be displayed and the user can share, open or download the file. Sharing works differently from the iPhone, where email sharing and Facebook sharing is built into the app. On the Android, the operating system will display a list of installed apps that can be used to share the document. So if a viewer is not installed, as may be the case with a new phone, it may not be possible to view the documents. The navigation is different on the Android in that the search option is available through the menu button. The Mozy app homepage can be accessed through the home button. Photos are displayed using thumbnails or gallery view. Preview is a simple mode with no real options. However, you can download the high resolution or high res version and then call the built in Android Gallery Viewer app to view the photo. You will now have all the functionality of the Gallery Viewer app, for example, zoom, copy paste, etc. The back key, as always, brings you back to the Mozy app. You can share photos using the installed apps on the phone that support photo sharing. The settings window gives the user the option to use and change their password. The passcode can be replaced if forgotten. Also, if the user enters an incorrect passcode more than five times, they will be locked out for 10 minutes. They can sign in and out of Mozy and the version and help files can also be accessed from the settings window. So that's the Mozy Android app. You can now view your PC files anywhere, anytime through your Android. It's as simple as that. Thank you for joining us for this tutorial. We hope you have found it useful. For more information and other tutorials, please visit us at support.mozy.com.